LDWMAC. Folks, you really, you just, I'm at a point with WMMA where it's like, I'm not even shocked with some of the stuff that these fighters say when they know the truth. Like, I'm not even shocked with some of the stuff that these fighters say when they even know the truth. Okay, I, I mean, you can't make this up, y'all. <laughs> you can't make this up. Like, like, you can't make it up. So Macy Barber, now, you know, does an interview with, you know, Aria Hawani, uh, Nosehead. Uh, and her and Nosehead got this interview talking about Aaron Blanchfield. And this girl, I, I don't know if she's stupid or she's just delusional. And maybe she's a bit of both. So she was, she was talking about when Aaron Blanchfield striking is horrible. Like, wait, 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 Macy. Like, like your striking is all that better. Like, you got, you, you a one trick pony. You got a right hand. That's it. That's all you know how to throw is your right hand when you strike. Let, let's, let's be real. Okay. You're not really evolving as a fighter. Not really. I mean, yeah, you're a little bit stronger. Put on a little bit more muscle mass. But what are you doing? Okay, now Macy did give her, you know, props for the wrestling and that stuff, but she's a horrible striker. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. And don't worry, <clears throat> for you Manon Farrow fans, I got smoke for y'all next. I got smoke for you Manon fans next. I, I, oh, I'm, I'm coming after y'all. But the thing is, okay, first of all, she started naming opponents that Aaron Blanchfield fought. Well, well, first of all, uh, uh, she didn't fight the best, best, best version of Jessica Andrade. Let's just get that out there. And then, you know, she was just talking about all her opponents. But you know, one opponent she didn't mention. One opponent that Macy Barber did not mention. And can you guess what opponent she did not mention? Can you guess? Sure, all of you know. She said nothing about Tyler Santos. And Nosehead, Nosehead should have immediately said, but what about Tyler Santos? See, she didn't talk about Tyler. You want to know why Macy Barber never talked about Tyler Santos? Because you ducked Tyler Santos. You wanted no smoke with Tyler Santos. Yep, you're on that list of fighters that wanted no smoke with Tyler Santos when she was on her rise. I'm talking about when she was the most, like, 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 scariest fighter to face in the octagon. One of the most scariest fighters. Tyler Santos was heavily ducked, heavily avoided in her prime when she was actually making her way for a title shot. And you were one of the people that avoided Tyler Santos. I mean, if we really want to be real, okay, you avoided Santos. How do you explain that? Please. And you're the same person that got beat up by what? A 40-year-old Roxanne Monteferry. Remember that? I mean, you tried to lie about it and say, well, it was my knee. Well, Roxy was whooping your ass before your knee gave out. Okay, Roxanne Monteferry was already whooping that ass before the knee gave out. So you got to come again, Macy. Macy, Macy, you got some explaining. You, 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 you got to come again. Okay, we ain't forget that ass whooping you took from Roxanne. We ain't forget that. Okay, and not only did she beat you, she dominated you. She dominated you. How to explain that? Then you talked about how J.J. Aldridge wasn't a game opponent. J.J. Aldridge, for anybody, is a game opponent. Okay? And it's not like J.J. Aldridge are losing these fights like people are destroying her. Like, literally, J.J. Aldridge is losing fights based on miscalculations. Based on things that she shouldn't have been doing. But J.J. Aldridge, in a lot of her fights, she's actually up on the scorecards. J.J. Aldridge is a solid opponent. But we're talking about all of Blanchfield's opponents. Like, Blanchfield ain't done nothing. Like, okay then. Tell you what, Macy. Why don't you face Aaron Blanchfield? How about that? <laughs> we can agree on Molly McCann. I think Molly McCann is one-dimensional. So I'm not going to argue with her on Molly McCann. We, we ain't going to talk about that. Okay? I agree with Macy on Molly McCann. But but damn. Macy. Why didn't we mention Tyler Santos? That, that's, that, that's all I ask. Why? Why no mention of Tyler Santos? Because you know you can't beat Tyler Santos. And the Tyler Santos that just fought in the PFL just now. Oh, man. She dismantled a game. A large on it. Dismantled her. Until I had the girl about to cry. <laughs> Tyler Santos had a large on it about to damn cry in that octagon. How bad she beat her up. But I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Okay. It appears to me that Macy Barber got to do what she do. Okay. She got to keep her name relevant. And I get it. She got to throw her name into the title shot hat. I get it. I get all that. 
But you can't sit here and talk about Erin Blanchfield, who, to me, she took the path of greatest resistance. She took the path of greatest resistance. Erin Blanchfield, she went up in there, and she fought. And Jessica Andrade, I don't care. I don't care who, what you say. Andrade is game. Andrade is game. You don't know. Like what version, Andrade still can knock you out in one shot. You get caught by Jessica Andrade, you're going to sleep. If she catches you, 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 you you're pretty much, you, you're asleep. Jessica's dangerous for anybody. I don't really care what she doing, okay, how, you know, whatever in your mind you feel like, okay, she's not the same fighter. Jessica Andrade still got that power. She still got power. And she's still knocking these, she's still knocking these people out. So, and Aaron Blanchfield, on her skill level, she's fighting more dangerous opponents than you were. Aaron Blanchfield came into the UFC talking about, I want all the smoke. Then, Macy, you talking about Rose Namajunas. Listen, let's go ahead and let's be truthful. Let's just be real. Rose Namajunas whooped your ass in sparring. She beat you up in sparring. Valentina Shevchenko beat you up in sparring. What are you doing, Macy? What are you doing? And we know what stay in the gym, going to the gym, but you know me. You know I get the lowdown. I get the lowdown and what happened in these gyms. And Valentina embarrassed you so bad, you left it. You can't even finish the damn workout. You left the gym. <laughs> what are you talking about, Macy? Like, it's so much dirt on you that, that I can just, I, we, we, it's so much stuff that people say about you. It's not, it's fun. It's not even funny. No, 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 no. No. See, we need we need to ask you about Tyler Santos, Macy. Why you didn't fight her? Please, please explain why. You said you fight anybody. But you didn't want that Santos smoke. Oh, I'm not done with you, Macy. I'm not done with you. And then there you Macy Barber fan. And you extreme ones. Like the ones that like to, you know, like send me these emails to my coach and I'll see you and get you. Look, any of you dudes. <laughs> Any of you dudes think that anything you say or what you do, I'm going to tell you, you better watch yourself. If you pull up on me, and if you can happen to find me, that's fine. Pull up if you want to. You ain't going nowhere else. Okay? See, you dudes, y'all don't move me. Y'all talk. Y'all talk. And if you want your family, if you, if you don't want your family to miss you emphatically, stop making threats you can't keep. I can keep every threat that I tell you about, cause I'm crazy. I'm crazy, like I'm, I'm legit crazy. So, okay, cool. Okay, you in love with this fighter this much, it's worth losing your life, then come on. Because that's what's gonna happen. I'm just telling you straight up. You can't you can't get mad and deny the fact that, that I'm speaking here. You can't get mad at that. This woman, <laughs> talking all this noise, and saying Blanchfield ain't fought the best, why she ain't fighting the best? How the hell that makes sense?